We are about to make our individual pot pies. We have the pie dough that we created in another video. And we have the filling that my husband did for you in a previous video as well. I will link those either in an iCard above or in the description below. You guys, I don't know where my rolling pin is, but it has apparently gotten up and left our family, so I'm gonna have to use this little one for right now, which is fine. We're using these cupcake pans to make little mini pot pies. You could certainly use this dough and make just a regular size pot pie in your like a deep dish pipe pan, but we like individual stuff around here because we'll never grow up. Here we go, ready to cut out our dough. You really just, I don't even know how thick or thin to tell you to roll it, just roll it, you know, just roll it so it's not, you know, paper thin, but it's not thick either. <laughs> I'm just using a wide mouth mason jar, I'm not digging out my cookie cutters. You're going to need two for each little pot pie. You can dip your jar in some flour if it sticks. You need to prepare your cupcake pans by spraying them with some non-stick spray. You could butter them if you want. Take these and we're going to get them in to our little cups here. If you think that you need, like I said, I used just a wide mouth mason jar if you think for some reason you need yours bigger or you're going to use like a jumbo muffin pan. Go ahead. This is all just a method. You do what you like or your family enjoys. Alright guys, I'm going to go away and get this done, it's pretty repetitive, and then when we're ready to put in the filling and put the tops on, I'll be right back. Toodles! Alright guys, now we're going to get these filled, here's the filling that my husband made earlier, super thick. We ended up using a little bit bigger of a cup for the, we actually used a soup cup for the bottom crusts, and we're going to use the mason jar wide mouth for the top. He's getting these scooped full of goodness. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna roll out the tops. So we will see you back when it's time to put them on and put them in the oven. I have an egg here with a little bit of water, and I like to add salt and pepper to my egg wash, especially if it's for something savory like this. All right, so we have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. We need to quick cut a little vent on top of these. We'll see you when they're done. Here they are. They took actually about 35. 35 to 40 minutes. So we're gonna dish them up here and give them a try and we will be right back. Okay, so. No. It's delicious, it's creamy, it's chickeny, and I pulled out most of the vegetables, except for that one. Oh. George, eat your vegetables. I did. Pie crust is good, it's creamy and flaky and delicious.